up? It's Mr. Apple Touch 31. In this video, I'm going to be doing the App of the Week. If you don't know what the App of the Week is, the App of the Week is an iOS application that I choose that I enjoyed the most, that I played the most, that I used the most. It can be a game. It can be just a little app that helps you out with everyday life. It can be for the iPhone, the iPod Touch, or the iPad. Um, but yeah, the App of the Week this week is going to be battery doctor pro they do have a free version but i'm going to be reviewing battery doctor pro if you want the free version just type in battery doctor on on the uh, itunes app store so let's go ahead and click on it and let it load up and um a lot of people say that these uh applications for batteries are gimmicks and i personally think that they are pretty much gimmicky too but i still like this one just because it, it like tells you like you know like how to like save battery it tells you a little bit of uh steps to help you make your battery better it tells you a lot about your battery you know how much time could you do facetiming how much time did you talk on the phone if you have an iphone um but i would highly 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 recommend this app there is a free version but i recommend getting this app and it's actually 60 percent off only today and by the time i upload this video that might be off already but i would still highly 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 recommend getting this app i think it's about two bucks and it is worth it i use it every it's day and I use it every day um, and yeah so let's go ahead and just get started with the review I'm gonna be reviewing this on an iPod touch fourth generation so I don't have to worry about the talk time or anything but yeah let's go ahead and start the start off with the review of a battery doctor okay so here we are with the app of the week battery doctor pro now I'm gonna try to do this app review a little bit quicker than normal but that doesn't that doesn't mean that the app's bad it just means that there's not too much to show and I kind of want to get it done quick because it is just a battery app but this is battery doctor pro it's the app of the week this week there is a free version but I would highly 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 recommend getting uh, the paid version um, so when you first open the app up this is what you'll see you'll have your percentage right here and then I'll have like a little animation of your battery so if it's at 100% this will the orange will be all the way up it'll have the it'll have the the name of your device so what, whatever you named your device on iTunes it'll be it'll say it right there and then they have all this now so this is something I really like about this app is it tells you how long you can be on certain things so I have 72% of battery life with 72% of battery life I could be on the internet for about eight hours as you can see there uh, I could watch video playback for about eight hours and 40 minutes I could watch YouTube videos for four hours or five hours and forty minutes, and uh, I could be listening to music for over a day. I could play a 3D game for about three hours. Um, I could FaceTime for about three hours exactly. Uh, the recharge time is only going to take an hour and thirty minutes, so it's going to take an hour and thirty minutes to get this battery back up to 100%. Uh, I could record a video for two hours and nine minutes, and if we go down to maintain here, you'll be able to uh, see that this is kind of like. So let, let's say you want to charge your iPod, what you're going to want to do is open the app up, click maintain, and then plug it in here. And there's two types of charge that it does. It does a normal charge and a full charge cycle. Or, yeah, it's a full charge, a full cycle charge. And um, the full cycle charge is anything that's below 20% is a full cycle charge. You're supposed to be able to do a full cycle charge every month. And anything above 20%, so if, if your battery is 25%, that's just a normal charge. It's just going to charge it normally. Now, I'm not sure what it does, but I've seen it kind of act and it like... It, it's, it's just kind of confusing how to explain it. You kind of have to like watch it and then w once you see it at 99% You'll see it kind of does like weird stuff, but you can also go into log here log is really cool um, They have a, a the, the green line is a full charge cycle and the yellow line is a normal charge cycle and they have these dates down here so here's today and we can go over and see that I did a normal charge right there I did another normal charge. Here was a full charge another full charge normal and you can see here that you can just see all your you can just see all your um your charges for your day or however often you charge your iPod. I personally only charge my iPod when it needs to be charged. Uh, usually I'll charge it when it gets down to about 10%, then I'll plug it in. Anything above that, I'll let it go. Here you can change your theme. So right now I have an orange theme on. So you saw this orange button, you all those orange battery right here. If you want to change that, simply click it there. And then when you open up the iPod, or, the, uh, or when you open up the application, it's going to be green. I'm going to change it back to orange. You can also have their patterns that they've made they have flags so you could choose your country and we'll go down here they have a lot of countries to choose from as you can see obviously so if any of you guys live somewhere else you can always just choose that country um, and they also have your own custom theme so you can tap this icon and go into a picture you can add one and add one oh, oopsies you can add one and add one until it's like so let's say you get bored with one you can click on it and then you could have another one just saved right away or you can just delete them. I personally just use the um, 
just the normal ones. And then they also have one more tab, and that's more. And here's where I'm not going to go in anymore. They just have more tips, uh, health information, your settings, uh, help, credits, and about. And of course, you can edit them and move them around and stuff. So if you want to move one down there, you feel free to. Um, but that's pretty much what this app is. I would highly, highly, highly recommend getting it just because it goes so in depth. You know, if you want to know if you if you have a friend over or you want to talk to, I don't know, uh, an aunt or something, and they're really far away and let's say they're in like they're like a hundred miles away from you, or maybe not. That's not even that far. But <laughs> let's say they're a thousand miles away from you, and you want to FaceTime with them, but you only have you know thirty percent of battery life, and you want to know how long you can FaceTime with them before you're going to need to find a charger. Simply just open this app up, scroll down, you'll be able to see. Uh, if you have an iPhone, it'll have like talk time on here and stuff, and a few other things. And I have an iPad, but there's no like iPad version out for it yet, so I haven't really. It's pretty much just the same as this. I think it might even be the iPhone version. I'm not sure. But this is the app of the week. Um, I believe this is the number 12. And it is Battery Doctor Pro. It's about a dollar, two dollars, three dollars in the app store. I'm not sure because it says it was on sale. By the time I get this video up, it might be off sale. Sorry about that. Um, but I highly, highly recommend getting this app. Try the free version out first if you don't like it. And then if you do like it, you can uh, feel free to come back and get the paid version. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching the app of the week. It's going to be Battery Doctor Pro. Be sure to thumbs up if you like this video. Favorite it if you super, super duper liked it. Subscribe for more videos and leave comments below. Tell me about what apps I should check out. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.